Hello and welcome back to another video. In this one I thought we could have a look at how to tie chest coils. Cool, so the first thing we're going to do is tie with a re-threaded figure of eight knot with a good stopper that's nice and snug next to it. Cool, so a top tip before we actually start tying these coils is the coils have to go over the top of everything. So start with your hood up and rucksack on. And try not to put slings over the top because um, when it comes to taking the coils off when you need them, you'll end up getting into a right old pickle. So the first thing we're gonna do is throw the rope round the back of our head Pop your hand through underneath the rope at around the same height as the stopper and figure of eight knot. Throw the rope round the back of your head again and back into your hand. Each coil is roughly about a metre, so take in as much or as little as you need. Once we've taken in the coils, all we have to do is then pop our arm through just like this. We want these coils to be snug not only on our harness but also over our shoulders so grab all of them and rotate them back to tighten it all up. So because the coils are going over my left shoulder I'm passing my left hand through here but if the coils are going over your right shoulder pass your right hand through and pull roughly about a foot's worth of loop through the coils themselves. I'll take that loop and tie the coils off with an overhand knot. The loop goes round the live rope that comes out the front, but also remember to capture the part of the rope that you're tied into with your figure of eight. Take a carabiner and clip it to the rope loop that you've created with your figure of eight. Then all we have to do is clip the other loop that we've created with the overhand knot into that carabiner. Now leaving the coils like this is okay, however, you're kind of a bit top heavy here, as in your weight will be pulled from your shoulders more than from your waist, which is perfect if you're walking across a glacier, etc. You know, and if you fall in a crevasse, you should land right up. However, when you're climbing, it's, we kind of want the weight being pulled from our waist. So all we have to do is just pop a clovitch into that carabiner, screw it up, and you'll find that your body weight is actually being pulled more from your center of gravity, which means it's a little bit safer for when you're actually climbing. So I'm going to show you a second method of tying these coils off um, by using one of these great big HMS carabiners. This one's made by DMM, it's called a BOA, it's excellent. What you have to do is take the carabiner, put it through the tying in loop for your legs and the tying in loop for your waist. Now, instead of tying an overhand knot around the rope, we just clip the loop direct into the carabiner like this, pull the live rope down, and it kind of tightens everything up. And all we have to do is then put a clove hitch into the carabiner as well, just to tie it all off. And um, the nice thing about using the clove hitch is you can just quickly adjust it to make it nice and snug. Using this method means you're basically always tied in at your point of center of gravity. However, you won't be able to kind of change it over to have it pulling through your shoulders. So I personally use this method when I'm scrambling in the UK um, because generally you're, you're climbing a bit more. Now, the reason I like this so much is it's super quick to release coils. You just undo the clove hitch, take out the loop, pull your arm through, take as many coils off your shoulders as you need. Um, and then pop your arm back through, take the loop, clip it back into the carabiner, tie off with a clove hitch. Super, super quick and slick. Thanks again for watching this video. If you'd like to see any more of these climbing top tips or skills videos, please remember to subscribe to our channel below and I'll catch you next time.